Hey everybody, today is uh, Tuesday, July 30th, early afternoon where we are, and I want to, it's sort of a continuation of my last video about uh, selling uh, and donating uh, items at home that you don't use, and it's about hoarding. Um, first, uh, if you think you have issues, you might want to talk to your doctor well, or a psychiatrist about it or a psychologist. Um, Personally, from what I've seen, hoarding, I think, is a mental issue. Um, there's something, and, and I've been a hoarder myself. Uh, about eight years ago, I stopped becoming a hoarder. I'm uh, 35. I think there's two aspects uh, to it. I, I think it's a learned behavior, uh, you know, from parents, family, friends, people around you, perhaps. Uh, and I also think it is a uh, psychological issue that, uh, you know, might be a chemical imbalance. Maybe uh, some antidepressants might help uh, temporarily or whatnot. I don't know. You'd have to check with your doctor. But uh, what happens is something clicks in your brain where you think that you're going to run out of things. Um, whether it be money, food whatever you start uh, hoarding you start gathering anything you think uh, could help you in your life um, there's various hoarding programs just watch any of them uh, I'm sure you could find them on uh, this website um, there's a whole bunch of them on uh, TV and on and on the internet um, these people have for years sometimes magazines, clothes, furniture, uh, electronics, uh, sporting goods, animals, um, kids clothes, they don't even have a kid, uh, you name it, they, they have it in their house, their home. I've seen some apartments on TV where you, they have stacks of magazines and newspapers. It's like a maze, you can't even get through. Um, you know, you can't even get through the apartment, it's a fire hazard. Um, in my case, I can honestly say that uh, my father and his partner uh, are probably hoarders. Um, and I think I picked it up from there. I also had ADHD before and I had uh, severe depression because of my living situation in that house. Um, we just recently got rid of a whole bunch of things of mine. Um, either donated, sold, or uh, recycled or threw out if it was too, if it was broken beyond recognition. Um, and uh, basically what we've done is um, I got rid of a whole bunch of things. We bought permanent uh, storage bins, plastic permanent storage bins, um, and you know, all to collectors, toys, childhood books, whatever. Uh, in permanent storage. The bins that, uh, what happened in my father's house, uh, they had a, her, his partner has a daughter, so there's four people with a whole bunch of crap down there that nobody cared about. Um, and I was never in a position to take my stuff out of there. Uh, I never had a basement or storage. Um, and over time, uh, bugs and mice, uh, spiders, I found dead spiders in the, the boxes, I found mice uh, droppings, um, not to get too gross, that, that's about up beyond it, there's mold, uh, to top it all off, there was a leak with the furnace before it was replaced, with an electric furnace, went all over everything, boxes became moldy, uh, even the plastic storage bins uh, that they had my stuff in even had mold all over it on the floors, it smells musty now, um, and nobody seems to care. And they all have stuff there, but all they cared about was me getting rid of my stuff. Um, well, I finally am, and uh, they didn't seem to care, they, they didn't phase them at all, they didn't seem appreciative about it, I'm like, whatever. Um, but hoarding... I started getting rid of a lot of things going back eight years when I started getting on my ADHD meds for the first time and the last time I was on them before the age of 30 or so was 13. So that's a long time. I was 13 and 91. Um, 
and uh, I I can honestly say that when I got back on uh, by ADHD meds when I was about 30, I started uh, throwing out a lot of things. Um, I couldn't believe what I had and kept and thought was important. I couldn't believe it. Uh, even now, I got rid of a lot of things, and hoarding. It's not only mentally dangerous and unhealthy, but it's also physically dangerous due to mold, bugs, uh, rodents who are looking for a home in the winter. It's, you know, their natural instinct uh, doesn't mean you're dirty, just you have all these things here. Um, insects, and what's really unhealthy is mold. And uh, living in mold, can apparently cause uh, upper respiratory problems and anxiety and depression. Um, so that's another concern. And if you're already having issues, uh, health issues or uh, psychological issues, this is going to make it worse. Um, and uh, the other parts of uh, physical health are, um, I guess I will say, with, depending what's there, if it's a lot of paper things and plastic, it's a fire hazard. You know, one little fire or spark and your place could go up in smoke. Um, so hoarding, it's, it's not fun, it's not nice. Uh, it's not nice for you, whether you see it or not. It's not nice for the people around you, especially. Um, what else? It's bad for your mental and physical health. And uh, if the stuff is still in good condition, maybe you can sell it and or donate it and help people out. Um, but hoarding, from what I see now, uh, it's awful. And uh, I'm never going to go back to that. And um, hopefully you won't either. Anyway, I got to run. Have a good day.